What's up, how you doing? Here we are, Sunday, Sunday evening, the end of the weekend. And this is no ordinary weekend. This is the weekend where the time falls back one hour. And all day you look at your watch and you, you think it's a little bit later than it actually is and you're kind of surprised that you still have a bit, bit of time left in the weekend. And um, as I look around now, um, the time, 4.42, this is the new time. So in the old time, yesterday it would be quarter of uh, six o'clock. And uh, I don't really mind the time change because for me, when it gets dark the other way, there's very, very little time left in the night. But when it gets dark now, it feels like the night is a lot longer. I can watch Family Feud, I can watch The Brady Bunch, Gilligan's Island, and still have time left over. So, not bad. And the sun now is hitting up against the tree over there. And even though it's mild out, it feels psychologically like it's a fall day. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about one of my, maybe not one of, maybe it is my favorite. I have a few favorites, one of favorites, but uh, cartoons. One of my favorite cartoons, if not my favorite, and, and probably is my favorite. This one here. Scooby-Doo. This is the uh, the mystery machine made out of iron. Doors open up. You know, I love this cartoon. It has a tire in the front there, spare tire. But I love this cartoon. I love everything about it. I love the fact that there's um, you know a few friends they get together, four of them and a dog and they have good times they have good times together they're adventurous they go to all these different places where they have to solve these mysteries and my favorite thing about the show is that every single ghost story every single one is a human being every single one there's a human being behind it they never they never uh, at the end of the show say oh that was a real ghost because just like the real world there's no such thing. Those things are all made up. And that's that's one of the things that I, I love about this cartoon, that it exposes the supernatural for what it is. So, you know, I, I've never seen, you know, the, uh, the mystery machine drive off. And they said, well, we solved that. That was actually a ghost. They always take the mask off somebody who's pretending to be a ghost to scare people off. And it's always a human being as it is in the real world. In the real world, if you hear stories where, you know, there was a, I don't know, some kind of ghost walking through a house, 100% of the time it's made up. Another human being made it up, told another human being, and it went on and on and on, like those uh, 1970s, 80s Breck commercials where one girl told another girl, and two girls told two girls, and four girls, and on and on. And everybody adds a little bit to the story, so by the end of it, when you hear it, a couple of years later, a hundred years later, whatever, it takes a life of its own. And then everybody's like, well, how do you disprove that? Well, the way you disprove ghost stories that are just too ridiculous is that they're made up. They're made up. Because at the moment where somebody claims something and you go and investigate, at that moment you find out what the truth is. But now if generations go by and people add things, like playing that uh, telephone game, then of course you can't disprove it because it's, it's made up, but it's... It's one of those things where it's been made up so long ago that you can't go back in time and disprove it anymore. But rule of thumb, if you hear anything like that, that involves the supernatural, 100% of the time it's made up. Made up by humans. No exceptions. So anyway, that's one of the things that I enjoyed. Plus I enjoyed the stories and I enjoyed the, um, the settings where they went. You know, they always had these these cool castles or haunted homes, haunted houses, and they would show up there. They always showed up unannounced. The door was open, they went in, they ran out of gas, I don't know, something. And then I enjoyed the, um, the parts where you'd see them in a marsh, a pond, a lake or something on a barge, and it would be nice and foggy, really like enjoyable. And they never went to school. 
never went to school. They, they, they were funded, I guess, by, by Daphne's father, because they always had gas money and food money. Shaggy and Scooby ate a lot. But, yeah, I even, I even uh, like the concept of the uh, van. You know, it's like uh, I can picture myself owning one of these and just driving around with a, maybe a couch in the back. And then you, you go where you want to go, you get tired, you pull over, take a nap. But it's, it's like a home on wheels. You know? So, that's it. And for a special, special occasion. Okay, go home to your mother. So the wimpy guys that get cars like that, mama's boys, and they want to be all, you know, like, look at me, I got a lot of noise here. And then they go back to their uh, their mom. Go back to their mom. But anyway, I got a, got a nice tie here, because I'm a fan of this show. This is for a special occasion, probably like Fireman's Ball, something like that. So anyway, that's it. That's it. And if you're ever in a situation where somebody tells you a, like a ghost story or something involving the supernatural, rule of thumb, they're making it up, or, or somebody made it up and told them, and they're gullible enough to repeat it. I even have the action figures here. Look at that. Scooby, afraid of his own shadow, and Shaggy, also afraid of his own shadow. Cool character, but it looked like he always needed a shower. And Daphne, Daphne was hot. Had that hot dress on, always, never changed. My my daughters, when they were younger, they still watch this show, but when they were younger, uh, they would argue about who was Daphne between the two of them. At one time, they uh, they dressed up like Daphne. They dressed up like Daphne, and we took pictures of them. But look at that. That's a cool thing to have. I'd like to get a van like that, but four-wheel drive. Extended version. Nice four-wheel drive with nice tires with deep grooves so they can, like, dig into the ground. Looks like an automatic. I'd like to get a, a stick shift uh, van, nice standard. So anyway, that's it. I may be back in a little bit to do some cooking. Tonight, chicken wings, homemade chicken wings with pecan rub. Yep, that's what we're having tonight. All right, that's it. Have a good Sunday.